Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is, it's today's Saturday, the day after Christmas. And I know there's, I have a lot of leftover of ham because we bought, we bought um, a ham. It is, it's too big for us. I don't know how many pounds, but I know it's too big for us just between me and my husband, you know, so. But he took some to work and then I still have some leftover for myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, I have the bone, you know, uh, it's a bone in ham. So I'm going to make a soup for that, I think, probably the following day. It's still going to be okay because it's in the refrigerator. Now, today, I'm going to cook the Filipino food. And the Filipino food that I'm going to cook is, I have the chayote that I think I bought this last week from Asian store or a week before that. Not sure, but it's still good. So, <clears throat> and I have the shrimp that I'm going to cook the shrimp with it, you know, like a sauteed it with with chayote and I have the bean sprout that need to be used now because maybe one or two more days is gonna be like not good anymore so I have to use this I have to use everything I have you know we need to save money you know so because <clears throat> we don't have you know we need to save money for for our future and stuff like that you know so I have this it came from the fro uh, fr freezer also. It's a dried shrimp. This one, it gave a flavor for my soup or soup or sauteed or, you know, something like that. So I'm going to put this too. I'm going to add it with my stir-fried chayote with bean sprout. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start chopping. We're chopping next na next next na ita chop natin. We're chopping the chayote. Okay, I'm gonna mix it in English and Tagalog, you guys, or maybe some Karaya, which is my dialect, so that everyone can understand, right? So I'm sorry or pasensya na if sometimes I mixed it with English, so that my whole family here in US can understand, and also everyone in the philippines i'm pretty sure everyone most filipino people speak english so we don't have to worry about that so now i'm going to peel the skin off of my chayote so let's go
chopped the ginger, garlic, onion, tomato, and then my Fresno pepper, and the my, uh, my chayote, it's right here. I had to soak it in the water so that it's not going to turn brown or something. It might, you know, just to prevent it to turning brown. Okay, so now I'm heating the pan right now, right here. So I'm going to put a olive oil. Okay, so that we can saute the garlic and the onion. Now the pan is already heating up. So I'm just gonna put you guys a little bit closer here. All right, so it's heating up. So I'm going to put my garlic and ginger first. You can add, you know, instead of ginger, you can you can use um, um, what you call this a uh, lemongrass, which is tanglad in our language. But I do have a, a lemongrass there by the window on the pot that's growing, but I'm gonna save it for, you know, for my tinola manok next time, which is a chicken soup, which is good that we use um, uh, lemongrass. I like the smell of it and it, it's also good for you. So I'm just gonna use the ginger because I have a big piece of ginger in the refrigerator that I bought the other week. So there you go. So I'm just gonna saute it and saute it, saute and saute, saute. And then now the next thing I'm going to put is my tomato and hot pepper. The Fresno pepper. And I'm gonna put the so I'm gonna turn the pan on. And I'm going to cut it down. I have to take the the smoke detector. They're so sensitive. A little bit of smoke, they'll alarm you. So I'm it scares me all the time. So it's okay. I'm not leaving it on anyway without, you know. So I have to watch it all the time. So, I'll be okay. Nothing's gonna burn. Nothing is going to burn if Rose is on the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna to say, okay, I'm gonna add the onion now. Onion is also good for you. Actually, all of this is, are good for you, you know? If maybe, guys, if you want to find out, maybe you can Google it, right? Alright. So, I just let it sauté, sauté for a little bit. And then I'm going to add my, this, my prawns. I'm going to leave the, the shell on because it adds more flavor on the broth of you know of this i know this is gonna be like a stir fry or saute but there's a little broth on it later that coming from the vegetables from the tomatoes from the onion and from the chayote and also from this so it's coming from i'm not adding any water so it's gonna make it own water Or, or I can add a little bit of water. I take it back. Yeah. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of water. This is like in between the soup and in the stir fry. But you know, Filipino loves soup. Filipino loves the broth. So, I'm just going to put I'm going to turn the burner down a little.
so uh, as you guys as you can see the prawns is like halfway cooked you know when it turned really like solid orange or something then it's cooked and we don't want to overcook our prawns because we're gonna add the sayote so i'm just going to add a little bit of water i take it back i'm sorry you guys i forgot yeah we need because i have the sayote that needs to be you know tenderized or need to cook it through sayote is like a potato so it takes a little bit probably mm, six minutes or seven so i'm just going to turn it in medium high and then i'm going to cover it and let it simmer and then i'm not adding any any salt or uh, um, chicken bouillon or anything or black pepper because i wanna let it cook first so that um i can um you know i can uh like taste it first if it needs salt or doesn't need salt whatever <laughs> but anyway yeah that's what i mean like i'm just gonna wait until it's cooked and then i'm gonna add all the salt and in the black pepper you know for that thing i can control the saltiness you know of the broth or the juice coming out from it okay so i'll get back to you guys i'm just gonna let it simmer more i know it's starting to simmer now but i'm gonna let it simmer until it's really like everything will incorporate the flavor okay see you in a bit okay guys the chayote is need to need more time to cook but it's okay now that i can add the chicken bouillon it's one teaspoon of chicken bouillon because i didn't add any salt on it and i'm not even adding any salt actually because this is enough and then i'm gonna add fish sauce too but it depends you know if need it anyway let's see and then the black pepper i'm gonna add now the black pepper while waiting for the chayote to um, be tender and cook i'm just gonna add everything right now i probably like after this then i'll cover it for like one minute and i'm pretty sure that's gonna be you know done so let's see i'll add the bean sprout when at the very end oh my goodness yeah it need i need the the fish sauce but now i'm gonna add this a little bit of dried dried shrimp not a lot so I'm gonna cover it again and for another one minute okay now one minute later I'm going to add my bean sprout it's been washed already so bean sprout I love bean sprout Alright, and the bean sprout. It doesn't take longer to, you know, cook it. You can eat it even in, when it's raw anyway. So, alright. So now I'm going to add my patis. The patis, you guys, is a fish sauce. There's, there's only this much left, but I have extra right there. But I have to, you know, I have to finish the this little one first. Because you don't have to add a lot. Just a tablespoon. Because like I said, I did not add any salt. So, because the salt that coming from the chicken bouillon would be enough. So, I'm going to taste it again. And then after that, I'm going to put the final touch. Oh my. Alright, so my magic syrup. So I'm just gonna put a dash of magic syrup. Tuck, tuck, tuck. There you go. Tuck, tuck, tuck. So, 
So let's taste it again. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off, but I'm gonna add something else. The cilantro, I love the cilantro. I know, it's supposed to chop it, but hey, it's my soup, so I can do anything I want, right? But it's it'll be okay, even you don't chop it, you can chop it. The fragrance and the flavor is still gonna come out. So I'm gonna try it again. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the burner off. And then, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys like my cooking for today, which is, I call it chayote. It's supposed to be stir-fried chayote, but I add a little, I add a little broth on it because I like broth, especially when you eat it with rice. But I'm not going to eat a lot of rice. But anyway, now the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to cook or clean my galunggum first. So, abangan you guys. Bye-bye. Like and share. Subscribe. Thank you.